You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Welcome to Let's Talk Business. My name is Kelly Bolton. I'm thrilled that you could tune in today as we have the pleasure of learning more about an incredible organization in our community that is dedicated to inspire, educate, and empower. With me is Jenna Rouse, Volunteer and Community Outreach Coordinator with Southern Rains. Please join me in welcoming Jenna to Let's Talk Business. Thank you for coming. You're I welcome. am so excited to hear about your business. Yes. And you were just telling me before mm -hmm. um, we went on air that this has been your dream mm -hmm. for a long time. So mm -hmm. tell me about your dream and how it came to fruition. <laughs> well, I grew up riding horses in Nashville. Uh -huh. and it was just my childhood. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. Um, and then I was 12 years old and I saw a commercial and a little boy with Down syndrome and it just melted my heart. Yeah. And um, so, you know, off to college and became a business major, but it always kind of was in the back of my mind, like combining my two hearts, which was the disability community and the horse world. Um, and fast forward to 2015, we started Southern Reigns, and um, it is amazing to see even families that we grew up knowing um, getting to participate in equine therapy and you know having breakthroughs. So, so it's equine therapy, right? So it's can you explain confusing. to me yes. that what that is? It's not therapy for the horse, right? You're it's not helping confusing. the horse; you're right. helping the person, right. right? So we serve individuals with physical, emotional, and cognitive disabilities with equine-assisted activities. So they may be riding or they may just be grooming the horse. Um, and the, the horse actually has a very similar three-dimensional gait than the, as the humans. So it has a lot of physical benefits, the rhythm, um, it tightens loose muscles, strengthens muscles. Always, we always need to strengthen our core. So, a lot of therapists may not, you know, have had a plateau with their clients, and they see a lot of breakthroughs with the horse. So, oh, that's a really mm -hmm. great concept. Yeah. And has that been around for a while, or is this an idea that you came up with? Oh well, it's been around. It's all over the the globe, but um, Memphis has not had a program. Um, in a while, mm -hmm. so um, you know, we just I just kept wanting there to be a service because a lot of parents go to the pediatrician with a child with you know physical disability or even autism, and their pediatrician refers them and says you know you need to try therapeutic riding or hippotherapy, um, and there's they Google it and there's nothing in the area, so we're glad to be able to serve Memphis. Very nice. Now, where are you located? We are located. We have two locations. Our main campus is in Collierville. Um, and then we have another location in Hernando to serve our DeSoto County Oh, how population. wonderful. Yeah. And is there um, a minimum age or a maximum age? No, we have, um, well, riders begin at age two in our mm -hmm. hippotherapy. Um, and hippotherapy is, the hippo is the Greek word for horse. Okay, because I was kind of wondering about the hippo. A lot of people <laughs> throws it. Um, but it, um, physical therapists or um, occupational therapists, right speech therapists can use the movement of the horse as the therapy tool. So instead of a mat or a ball, they're using the movement of the horse to guide their client. So that's a hippotherapy session. It's usually a private session. Um, so we have kids ages two and up for that. Really? And that's um, when they're actually riding the horse. Yes, but they also can be laying over the horse, backwards, plank position. So just whatever that therapist thinks the movement will affect and benefit that particular client. So it is truly amazing. Oh, amazing. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, I would be mm -hmm. remiss if I didn't ask you about the horses. Like how do you how do you find the perfect horse? Well, they're one in a million, first of all. So we have eight therapy horses in Collierville and four um, in DeSoto, and they're hard to find. We go through probably 10 to find one. Um, they're all ages, the, the, the best age is seven to 20. Um, but they, you know, some of them have been, you know, off the racetrack, you know, really? hunter jumper, all different, but they need, obviously need to be gentle. Um, but we need different gates. We need fast horses. We need slow horses. We need horses that have a lot of movement. Um, and then, you know, it may be a really gentle, um, not a lot of movement with our horse for more medically fragile, you know, participants. So a lot goes into which horse fits you know for that particular mm -hmm. rider and there's a lot goes into that. Well it's, it, um, as I'm listening to you talk it seems like obviously your business background helped yeah. a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. uh, your passion for horses 
but it's more than just business and a passion for horses because right. I mean, assessing the gait and what's going right. to work for different therapies. And then do you work with the therapist in trying to determine which horse and right. which therapy is going to work? And then I'm assuming you are the one that handles the horse and the therapist might work with the patient. Well, okay, so let me explain. So we at Southern Reigns, equine therapy is a general term, right. and underneath that falls therapeutic riding, which is a recreational lesson where riders are forward facing. Um, they're learning to woe, walk on, trot, command a horse. Mm -hmm. um, and we have volunteers that lead the horse and then walk beside them. Um, but then we also have, we work with our veterans. We also work with mental health, with youth villages. So it's a huge partnership. Mm -hmm. um, so, but our staff is amazing. So we have um, somebody that's the equine director and she's the one that really works with the horses and gets to know them and their personalities and knows the best match. So she works with our therapists to kind of decide what's the best horse for whatever goal they're working on. Oh, that's fabulous. Um, yes. So it's so. very, um, it's kind of part medical, part mm -hmm. passion, mm -hmm. part yeah. business. Right. Um, and I bet you've seen some wonderful, wonderful Absolutely. outcomes. Yeah, the, our, the veteran work that we do is truly amazing because I don't know if you have ever heard this, but you know, a horse can feel a fly on his back. So really? he can pick up on, the horses can pick up on so much about what the energy is inside of us. Right. And so if you have, you know, a veteran who's holding back, the horses know that and they, they can mm -hmm. sense that. So they're extremely intuitive. We say they're a thousand pound lie detector. Really? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> that is so fascinating. Yeah. Well, yeah. if, um, I had a couple other questions, you know, we were talking about equine therapy and it's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. What, what was the evolution of equine therapy? When did this whole concept come about? Well, as we all know, horses are, I mean, amazing therapeutic horses mm -hmm. have been around. And so, you know, it dates back a long time, but we have seen, um, you know, just the research as far as effectiveness, um, we would love to have more measurables out there. But again, mm -hmm. you know, a long time ago that this has been, this has been happening, but um, Southern Reigns is, you know, three years old. There have been programs in the you know, United States that have been 50, 60 years old. Oh, so. for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, people have always say that animals provide some form of comfort, mm -hmm. but I guess with a horse's ability, like you said, can feel a fly on his back, yeah. it, you know, it, I'm sure that helps a lot compared to mm -hmm. maybe other types of therapy. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have any just um, amazing stories that you'd oh. want to share, like <laughs> a great one, maybe a quick yeah. one, and we then we're going to, I know, maybe a quick one, <laughs> yeah. and then we're going to, we'll break in a few minutes, and yeah. then we'll come back and pick up on a really yeah. long one. Um, one of my favorite riders is named Caitlin. Mm -hmm. She's 22, um, and she has spastic cerebral palsy. Um, when she's in a wheelchair, and she, she steers her wheelchair with her elbow. Um, and she also does art um, by blowing um, her iPad up and uses her nose. She does wow. amazing art. Um, so when we first met Caitlin, we wasn't we weren't sure if she was going to be able to you know get on the horse and mount. And um, it's quite a complicated way that we get her on the horse. Mm -hmm. um, but after a month or two, um, her legs were you know releasing. She was using her hands more at home, and her goal is just to become wow. independent. And um, her mother said she, for the very first time in her life, at age 22, she brushed her teeth by herself. Wow. And um, so it's hard to believe that riding a horse can do that, but talk about a miracle. I mean, that, you know, can you imagine your mom brushing your teeth for the first 22 years yes. of your life and then finally having that freedom? And finding a therapy to uh -huh. get that freedom. Yeah. So she rides two days a week, um, comes as often as we will let her. Oh, so. that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to take a little okay. break and we're going to keep talking because I want to hear more stories. <laughs> okay. We're going to pause for just a few moments for a short break. When we come back, we will resume our exciting discussion about how Southern Rains is enriching so many lives.
Ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars. It's the 47th annual Germantown Festival, September 8th and 9th at the Germantown Civic Club Complex. Enjoy the Mid-South's most exciting entertainment, family-friendly fun, and mouth-watering food all in the heart of old Germantown. With hundreds of craftsmen and vendors, you can start marking off your shopping list with great gift items for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any special day. The 2018 Germantown Festival, September 8th, 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and September 9th from noon to 6 p.m. Live coverage of the Germantown Festival begins Sunday, September 9th at 2 p.m. only on ghscv.org. Every day is different, you know? Every day is a new piece of music. One five four five three five two five one five four. Large program. We have three full choral ensembles, a women's chorus, chorale, which is about fifty-five students, and our chamber choir, which is about eighteen. There have been lots of opportunities to audition which have encouraged me to be more confident with myself and really put myself out there. I really enjoyed my time being in choir, especially here at Germantown, because I feel like there's something special about this particular school. I like them to walk into my room and feel as though they are free to experiment with sounds. How beautiful can you make German? That's the challenge. We always say that we're a school of excellence and I feel that that really shows like in performances because we're all so focused in trying to reach our goals. For more information about the Kappa program, visit ghskappa.com or call 755-7775. You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Welcome back to Let's Talk Business. If you're just tuning in, I am Kelly Bolton, and today we have Jenna Rouse, Volunteer and Community Outreach Director for Southern Rains, as our guest. We've been talking about the amazing services that this organization provides the community. So let's jump back in and learn more. Thanks for taking a break. Yeah. Wow, what a story. <laughs> I mean, who would think? I, yeah. I, that's amazing to mm -hmm. think that a young girl who mm -hmm. made it to 22 years of mm -hmm. age and after equine therapy was able to accomplish something that so many of us just take for granted. Take for granted. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. tell me about other other things that equine therapy can help with. Okay. I'm sure stress. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> stress, confidence, those are yes. some of the um, emotional, but uh, a lot of our participants are on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people that um, you know are affected by that, they may have family members or friends and they see how you know, truly a lot of, you know, the stimming, you see, it's just a lot, it affects their everyday life. Yes. So um, their senses can get out of whack. And when they get on a horse, the rhythm of the horse, the feeling, the smells, if anybody's been to a barn, they know the mm. smell of a horse is just therapeutic in itself. But just petting the horse, connecting with the horse is extremely therapeutic to you know, the autism community. Um, and we have parents that say that it carries on throughout the week. Um, so when we break for a session, two or three weeks to give the horses a break, that we have parents with their kids that have autism call and saying, please, please get us back. Can we Just get let back? us a sneak peek. Right. So if you can tell they're seeing differences at home as well. So it's amazing to see the benefits there. But um, physically, we have a lot of um, riders that have Down syndrome that have low tone. Um, so they're trying to, to build those muscles to be able to walk. Um, we had a rider that was almost there. He had been walking with a walker. and. Um, just getting on a horse and the, the three-dimensional gait of the mm -hmm. horse is very similar to humans. So his muscles are like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. And two or three weeks later, he was walking. So, wow. um, you know, it's, it's truly amazing. I like to think, is it really what we're doing yeah. um, that's making this difference with the horses? And the parents confirm, absolutely. So. Isn't that, oh, what a wonderful <laughs> thing to, you know, a lot of people like to think in their, in their lives and in their jobs, they change lives. Mm -hmm. But wow, you are. Every day. Well, it's a great can job. <laughs> people like me and people that are not familiar with horses yes. or equine therapy, mm -hmm. how can we get involved and help? Well, since I'm the volunteer director, that that's a great question to ask me because mm -hmm. um, for the next, um, for the fall, we will serve 100 participants. For every participant, we need up to three volunteers. Um, so we need volunteers morning, um, afternoons, um, weekends, we ride on Saturdays all day long. So um, we have volunteer trainings coming up. You just have to be 14 years old. 
um, really? be fit enough to walk alongside and maybe even jog alongside of a horse mm -hmm. for a 45 minute lesson um, and then a liability release. So um, yes, we anybody, we have volunteers that are in their 80s. We also, to answer your question mm -hmm. about the horses, the rider's age, we have ages too, although we have a 78 year old woman that rides. Wonderful. Yes, so. so you don't mm -hmm. have to, you, you would teach Yes, That's what we need so to know. So we have a two-hour training. Mm -hmm. um, you learn all about therapeutic riding and, and hippotherapy and the benefits, and then we actually let you go out into the ring and walk alongside the horse. Um, we have different holds that we support our riders. We teach you all the different holds and how to watch for different horse behavior and stuff. So whether or not you have worked with horses before or the disability community, mm -hmm. we take anybody with any experience, you know, no experience necessary. So. so how do you reach out and say, I want to volunteer? Is there some big weekend where all you do volunteer yes. community outreach day or is yes. there? So we start, um, our volunteer training is actually this Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. You can go to southernreins.org and mm -hmm. sign up. If you click on the volunteer tab, it'll show you our, our trainings. And right. um, we have volunteer trainings, um, again, morning, afternoon. We have them on Saturdays. But um, the best way to get in touch with me it would just be to, to, mm -hmm. find, to call Southern Reigns and, and find out when how to sign up for our trainings. Oh, and wow. then um, we also have like, you know, United Way Day of Days of Caring where you can sign up and come if you don't want to be around the horses. Um, you can just see them from afar. Um, we have a wheelchair ramp that needs stained. So we always have needs that, um, and you can, people can also donate, use tack if you, you know, used to ride and have some old saddle. Uh, we can always use stuff like that. So. Well, and I'm sure you would welcome donations, oh, of uh, financial Absolutely. donations. And how does that work? Horses are not cheap. <laughs> uh, I didn't think they were. Um, so yeah, so I mean, any amount, we do uh, $20 hay for a day because horses got to eat. Mm -hmm. um, all the way up to a $2,500 horse sponsorship um, that you can sponsor a horse for a year. Um, we always need for our riders who cannot afford to pay um, for scholarships. And we have, we're awarding about 15 scholarships this this fall oh, how thanks wonderful. to generous donors but um and then we just bought our own place so we're always we're in the middle of a capital campaign so we're always in need of of donations so well it sounds like yeah. there's always more you could do Absolutely. but the only the only thing that would hold you back is financially mm -hmm. and the volunteers right. and you mentioned that there you do scholarships so mm -hmm. is it not covered by insurance it is not we're hoping to get there um, some of the hippotherapy clients mm -hmm. are um taking our information um, and filing it to get reimbursed. So some of them have been reimbursed. There's also other um, programs that fund for things like that. So we have a kind of a, a way that we suggest, you know, mm -hmm. can point our, our participants to, but we're hoping. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any way, do you have any connections to get yeah. that taken care of? <laughs> that would be wonderful yes. because yeah. if patients could get reimbursed, mm -hmm it would mm -hmm. make it much mm -hmm. more affordable mm -hmm. because I know you, so it's, it's like expensive mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. if you have any special needs mm -hmm. or things like that, just to help with those issues. Right. But then when you know there's a therapy that can work, mm -hmm. but insurance may or may right. not be willing to cover it, it makes it pretty difficult mm -hmm. because insurance is usually so, right. you know, many times there's a lot of generosity in what insurance will cover and other times we it's have not. We have precious volunteers that fall in love with their riders and mm -hmm. offer to pay. So our volunteers, oh. a lot of them are covering some of their their, their favorite riders' expenses, oh. which is really sweet too. I'm sorry, I wish we had more time on this segment, but mm -hmm. we're gonna need to pause for just a moment. Okay. We're going to take a short break. When we return, we will finish up this great discussion. This music isn't just notes and rhythm, it's about feelings and emotions. I believe students should participate in a music program no matter what high school they go to, no matter what aspect of music uh, they might be interested in. I want for my students to gain skills and knowledge about music every single day. Music is a wonderful way uh, for students to express themselves and express uh, you know, their experiences. I feel like this music program, it helped me to uh, just settle, it's like just stop and just focus on what I need to do. Being in band benefits me by helping me become a better musician because I would like to go into music once I go to college. Ultimately though, truly wish that my students get life skills out of my, my program. I believe the skills of teamwork, 
um, building community, showing up on time, prepared to do a good job. Those are things that are invaluable and you cannot get in any other uh, program, academic program at a school. For more information about the Kappa program, visit ghskappa.com or call 755-7775. You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Thank you for joining us on Let's Talk Business. If you're just tuning in, I am Kelly Bolton, and today we've been discussing the vision, the mission, and the history of Southern Rain Center for Equine Therapy. Our special guest is Jenna Rouse, Volunteer and Community Outreach Director. So. I know we've got so much that I want to talk mm -hmm. about, but unfortunately we're limited in time. Um, tell me about some of your community partners. Who is jumping on board in this community to support this therapy? Well, um, so with our therapeutic riding, we have a lot of groups that come just after school, a lot of our students, um, but we have some groups that come and prepare for that. So Exceptional Foundation of West Tennessee um, and the University of Memphis Tiger Life um, as well as the Houston High School special ed group comes out and they help clean, help us get ready for the lessons. Um, with our veteran work, we work with the VA hospital and Alpha Omega veterans. Oh, um, I used to be very involved with them. Really? When they, very, when they first started out. Alpha Omega? Uh -huh. Awesome. Yes, I was on the board for years. Really? A fabulous oh, wow. organization. Okay. Yes, absolutely. We, it was just when they had one little location Aww. and th when you were talking about veterans, that's why my, I kind of perked yes. up. Yes, yes, Cordell. I mean, we love Cordell we Walker love is a oh, wonderful man. Yes, yes. So actually, sweet story, some of our um, Alpha Omega veterans have now become volunteers with really? our other veterans, maybe from the VA, and they're giving back, which is amazing. Oh, that's um, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. to hear that you're doing yeah. for the veterans. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, um, most of the veteran work, a lot of it's done unmounted, where they're out in the ring with no lead rope attached, and they're creating that bond between the veteran and the horse, and it is is powerful. You got to come see it if you're involved. Oh. If you were on the Alpha Mega board, you got to come out there. I would but, um, love yeah. to. Um, another partnership we have is with Tresvent Manor. Their yes. memory care unit comes out, um, and they start singing to the horses, and they have great memory oh. moment, moments when they're when they're out there. So that has been wonderful. And then Serves yes. um, is another organization that brings a group. They've brought 15, 20, 30 um, participants out. Um, over the years, so it's amazing to partner with them. Oh, so, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And do you get any corporate sponsorships at all? Yes, First Tennessee is one of our amazing sponsors. Lexus, we have a lot of great groups that, um, you know, want to be a part. We have a fundraiser in May, um, and we tie that in with um, the Kentucky Derby, very fitting. It's oh, called yeah. Jockeys and Juleps. Oh, I um, love that. And so everybody gets an excuse to get a sundress and a hat. Um, and we have a uh, yes, award for the best hat, which some of the hats are as big as that TV screen. Oh, that's it's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> um, but that, you know, that's our biggest fundraiser mm -hmm. in First Tennessee is um, our sponsor for that. So, but we're always looking for other organizations. Um, International Paper just brought a group out uh, Tuesday and cleaned for um, two hours. So, I mean, any, any organization that wants to get involved, you know, we can find a way. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what do you find, um, not maybe not me specifically, but mm -hmm. but people like me were out in kind of maybe the business community, mm -hmm. and um, by 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 normal people by by standards, I would mm -hmm. be considered kind of healthy. Mm -hmm. um, although I'm telling you, I'm getting older, <laughs> but but healthy. Um, it, I would assume, just kind of thinking what I'm hearing you say, that somebody like me that may be in a job that is stressful or demanding mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. things like that, although I love every minute of what <laughs> I do, I probably mm -hmm. retain stress that mm -hmm. I don't realize I have. Mm -hmm. And so periodically I was getting physical therapy, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm at a computer all day right. and my neck is tight. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, you don't realize how your body is is retaining mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all these things and you know the way desks are set up and so as I was hearing you talk I thought I, th I wonder how equine therapy would work for a person that feels mm -hmm. healthy but right. just feels like they're getting worn down or run right. down. Well I mean just going back to that core strength any kind when you're getting your muscles working and you're getting mm -hmm. your heart rate up I mean 
if, if you if, if you haven't tried it in a while, if you do that now, you're going to get a workout. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, I remember being uh -huh. sore when I rode yes. when I was 12. Right. I can't imagine right. at, at 30 right. how I would feel. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. I'm not 30. <laughs> I, would love, I wish I was, but I can't imagine how right. I would feel. Yeah. So, um, and then even just walking alongside the horses as mm -hmm. our volunteers, they're like, I get to serve and, you know, burn, you know, 350 calories, get all my steps in. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a, you know, volunteers are also getting, but, you know, riding is an amazing way to stay fit. Mm -hmm. That core strength affects everything. My sweet little friend, Caitlin, that I was telling you mm -hmm. about, um, it has helped her speech. Um, really? When wonderful. she's riding, it's kind of breaking up the, the tight muscles and is even mm -hmm. allowing, you know, her tongue muscles very tight and allowing that to, in the diaphragm, everything to, it's, it's truly, I can't explain it because I have no medical background, but um, it's you know, really fabulous. So it's amazing to think what all just being on a horse can help, you know. And then you do have those people that just would like to take riding lessons um, mm -hmm. that can come out not looking for equine therapy. I'm sure they're right. getting therapy they don't realize right. by being around yeah. the horses, but yeah. you teach lessons for all ages? And no, we, we only serve the disability You only community. serve, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but those, but they can take lessons in how to ride as part of their therapy. You're um, so you mean our volunteers or um, our participants, just all they need is a referral from a physician that okay. clears them. Okay. So if it's some sort of emotional, you know, we had one little girl that was scared of cats and you know, someone thought that it might be great to conquer a fear of riding a horse, but um, we do not have able body riding at Southern right. Rains. Um, it's, it's kind of easier to keep the 100% I would think so. Nonprofit. I would think so. so. That's what I thought. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to make yeah. sure I understood. But a nice little perk is some of our volunteers who have earned their wings get to come and exercise our horses. Yeah. So they basically get to ride for free um, as oh, long as you know nice. they have approved that you know their their skill level is um, you know giving our horses the exercise that they need to be mm -hmm. an awesome therapy horse. So. so tell me again, between your two campuses, how many horses do you actually have now? I think we have 12. We're always, we're getting a new one named Butters next week. Um, and our executive director just went out and checked, you know, Butters out to see if she would be a perfect therapy horse. So they're on trial for 90 days. Um, sometimes more or less. And, you know, we're always constantly working with them and, you know, making sure that they're going to be able to handle two people on either side and someone leading them, especially yes. at the trot, because, you know, some horses, they don't want, want that, you know, that feeling. Mm -hmm. So, um, but they have to be very gentle and, and, you know, allow all different behaviors. And um, so it's very exciting. Oh, wow. I'm <laughs> yeah. blown away. Um, when when mm -hmm. we asked you to be a guest on our show, I had no idea the real impact. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking it's nice um, my, my, I guess, pure ignorance is it's nice to be around a horse and it makes you feel good mm -hmm. and it's yeah. like an animal. Right. I had no idea. Yeah. So. It's amazing. Well, we're, we're just thankful for you having us so that we can tell more people about well, it. Well, I so. would like to think a lot of people probably don't know yeah. like I did not know. So right. thank you so much well, thank for you. coming. Yes, thank I you. Yes. I really much. appreciate yeah. it. So we want to thank uh, Jenna Rouse, Volunteer and Community Outreach Director for being with us today. And we hope you've enjoyed tuning in. To learn more about Southern Rains and how you can be a part, visit their website at southernrains.org or you can reach them at 901-290-1011. To get more information on our show, please check us out on the web at ghstv.org. We are streaming live 24 hours a day. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. So please join us again next month on Let's Talk Business as we continue to explore the thriving business community here in Memphis. 